Hi, I'm Roger Narayan and you are watching Cinema Rendezvous. Pawan Kumar, who's the director of U-Turn, he also directed the film Lucia before this, which is what he's very well known for. Um, he actually was uh, classmates with me at Ranga Shankara, which is a theatre company in Bangalore. And uh, we had done a Shakespeare workshop with a French theatre company called Futsban. So it was called Perchance to Dream, and we had done this whole dance, singing, performing thing, so, like years ago. And this is when he was an actor, by the way, <laughs> just to clarify. Um, and then, you know, he went on to do other things and we had kind of lost touch and he became a director all of a sudden and he had assisted Yogiraj Bhatt, who is one of the top directors in Kannada, in his films and he had written a couple of scripts for him for his films. Then he went on to direct a couple of other very good films. Uh, with this character, you know, Pawan, you know, is very, very uh, amazing as a writer. So, in his writing, I got a lot of stuff because uh, he, he doesn't talk much. <laughs> So you, you have to kind of understand what he's going for just based on like his writing and what he's trying to accomplish. And just from the sort of way that he communicates, I've sort of developed a shorthand now with him where I know what he's talking about. The moment he says a few phrases, I'm like, okay, I know what you're talking about. So, but not a huge talker. So he's like, if you do, he'll usually give you a lot of freedom and the way he writes his characters, in fact, he told me and he's shared this in interviews in public as well, is he likes to first do the casting and then he writes things around the person who is playing the role. So, which is, I think, a very interesting process for him as a writer. So, um, so he wrote specific things for me as the person playing the role. Uh, yes, the working kind of uh, process is slightly different. Um, in Hollywood, as you call it, or in, in the West, um, the actor is expected to create the character. I mean, it's offensive to be given a line reading because it's like that's your job as the actor is to dig, dig into the emotion, the sociology, the history, the intentions, the objective of the character and, and present it through your voice, through your dialogue, through your choice of body language and all that. Um, so I am used to that and I'm very comfortable with that. And then here, um, this is a slightly different way that they work. Like you said, you know, the line reading thing, I've not noticed everybody do that. Uh, the Hindi film Ola Venki that I did, the director was very, very hands off. I mean, whenever specific things were needed, he would tell me. And then he also gave me a lot of freedom to improvise. This is true both of Sandeep Mohan who did Ola Venki and of Pawan Kumar who did U-Turn. They both gave me a huge license creatively and artistically to explore improvisation within the realm of the scene objective and this stuff and my thing is also you know I always try to make sure that I don't increase budget for the director especially with digital now I think we can shoot more but the setup wise so in the same setup I like to do what the director wants and then request them beforehand like can you just keep it rolling just another minute it's not going to cost you anything more in that minute I'll improvise and do something that they can use if they want to in post if not they can just you know shove it and let it be so it, it's, I think, my way of saying, okay, you know what, I, I respect your writing and I want to give you what you want, but then I also want to show you that there's this thing that's possible, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing something that can happen here that's, that's real now, like, during the shoot in that hour that the setup is there, maybe it's the lighting, maybe it's a location, maybe it's somebody that's inspiring me to do something, whatever it is, just being present to that and, like, using that in your work. So, uh, so that's something I like to do. So the improvisation, I think, is a huge freedom as well to try and add into the process. Fortunately, Pawan didn't give me a lot of line reading as such, neither did Sandeep. Uh, of course, occasionally they would say, you know, that I, I, we like what you're doing, but this is what we want to try or like a different shade of something I'm doing. So that's kind of like the redirection and the readjustment that we kind of went for. So. Uh, it's actually very simple. Once I commit to a project, I'm here. So when I'm in India shooting a project, I clear my schedule for the next few months. Um, uh, unless there's a huge gap in the schedule and something else is shooting elsewhere. Um, like I had to go to London for a bit in between. I had to go to, the, to Los Angeles for a bit. But it was all way well ahead planned. And you know, I, I'm, I, you know my, the way I look at it is whenever, uh, you know, whenever it's possible humanly, practically, uh, when I commit to a project, I want to finish it fully uh, before I take on anything else. Um, both for continuity purposes but also in terms of logistics and all this. So, so for U-Turn itself, I was uh, here for a total of three months in India, in Bangalore, where we shot the film. Uh, the first schedule was about uh, a month and a half, two months. 
uh, over a period of about 25, 30, uh, actually about 30, 35 days. Uh, so that was a bigger chunk of the schedule. The second schedule happened with a month's gap in between where we did some of the pickup scenes and like some of the scenes that were not done and then we did the dubbing as well. Um, so I planned it in a way that I did the first schedule, went away and shot this other uh, you know, series of commercials that I was doing in, in LA um, and uh, then came back and did the dubbing and the other scenes. So, so logistically it's very, very easy for me. You know, when people ask me where do you live and what do you do, I am wherever I am shooting. So if I'm shooting in India, I'm here for those few months. If I'm shooting in London, I'm there. And if I'm in LA, I'm there or New York, wherever. So, so it's very simple in that way because the economics of it, I understand you know, in terms of travel or whatever. Uh, I try to minimize it during the shoot itself. Um, and uh, otherwise, you know, in terms of economics of like, just as an actor coming from there to work here, I always tell my directors, just treat me as a local actor. Don't, don't, I don't need any extra privilege. I don't need extra expenditure or anything like that. You don't have to put me up in, in a, a fancy hotel or anything, you know. Um, uh, and, and it's like, it's very, just keeping it simple and like keeping it workable is, is basically the goal, so. So I play a lot of other ethnicities in Hollywood. I don't just play Indian, I play Middle Eastern, I play Pakistani, I play Afghani, Iraqi. And so I do a very, very convincing Middle Eastern accent. Um, I do have family in Dubai, Abu Dhabi and all. So I, I've visited a lot and stayed there for a long time. So that helps to hear that native sound because I think sound comes from immersion. Just like learning languages comes from immersion, like from actually talking it with a native speaker, actually being in that milieu, you know, like you want to learn Spanish, go to Madrid or Barcelona and stay there for two weeks or a month, you'll be forced to learn it, you know, just to ask for breakfast or find out where the loo is or whatever it is that you need for just simple practical things. It, it kind of immerses you in the, in the world. So as far as dialects and languages, you know, um, I, I actually credit my training in Sanskrit mostly to my pronunciation and, and being able to have a good year about sounds and pronunciation and dialects. Uh, so I studied, studied Sanskrit for eight years in school uh, and the pronunciation is one of the most important things in Sanskrit. Uh, you know, ucharana, they, you know, they say ucharana and uh, uh, being very clear, spashtama rakardana solvanga, Tamil in Sanskrit and Hindi. So it's being very, very on, on spot with the exact turn of the syllables and the turn of the sound that is happening. Um, so that I think is kind of the background to that. And, and, and the name Roger came about because my publicist agent Sonon in, in Los Angeles found that it would prevent me from being stereotyped as, in, as an Indian actor. So they said Roger would mean it's a neutral thing and not a lot of people know what, if Narayan is, because it sounds very Iranian as well and it sounds Indian. So we kind of get away with that. And I've had practical instances where directors that I've shot with afterwards, you know, we're having a drink and talking about a TV show that we just finished an episode for. And they're like, where are you from? And I'm from India. I'm like, really? I mean, like, I didn't know you're from India. I'm like, okay. And, and they're like, I wouldn't have cast you if I knew you were from India. I was like, exactly, my, exactly our point, you know, like what my team's doing. So, and they're like, but you, you sounded like you're from, you know, Dubai or something. I'm like, yeah, that's an accent that I do as an actor, you know. It's not what I speak in everyday life. So, uh, so I think Sanskrit and, uh, and, a, and I, I think maybe having a good musical background in the family kind of helped me develop a sense of uh, discerning sounds and turns and sounds and all that. So maybe that's probably the two things that have helped me. Something very different, I will work on it. Uh, if it's something that's a very, you know, if it's a Madurai dialect I need to work on, I'll probably go live in Madurai for a couple of weeks, not at the production's expense, in pre-production when I'm preparing, that is.